Hi friends, welcome back to the Jimin Gore YouTube channel. This is the 24th video in the Java FX Library man Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, we have seen how to set up this icon. And in this video, I'll be showing something much more important. I mean, currently, we cannot delete a member or a book from the database. I mean, uh, we haven't implemented the option to delete something. So in this video, I'll be showing how to delete an entry from the database by selecting it from this table so what i'm thinking about doing is uh, creating a context menu when i right click suppose i want to delete this book origin all that i want have to do is right click on this then select the delete option which will, which it will delete from the database so let's see how we can do that so first of all we know that the list book the book list.fxml is showing the book list so i'm opening that in my scene builder so this is my table which displays title book id or the publish availability etc so what i need is i need a context menu so for that i am going to search for context menu and you can find this context menu option just drag it and drop it on the table view so that this context menu will be attached to this table so now we have a beautiful context menu here if you press ctrl p you will get this view and if you right click there is an unspecified action what i want to do is i want to specify a text here so delete option so i i just gave a delete text for this menu item if uh, i am going to press ctrl p or you can find it here in this preview section show preview in window if i right click there is a delete option so the next thing that we have to do is uh, i will run the program again so i have the view members no it's not members view books then if i right click on this it is not there i'm going to save this right now then if we go back and run the program wait a second gc wrote i'm going to the view book section and if i right click on this i am getting this delete option we have encoded that part yet so now delete the next thing that we have to do is when i press on delete button i need to get the corresponding object which is to be deleted i mean there are this much books and if i click and press delete on this it will be calling a common method then i have to know which object is selected for deletion so let's do that part coming back to the scene builder there is menu item delete and here there is an action this will be called when we click on the delete option so handle book delete option so i'm going to give the action as handle book delete option uh, i'm saving it and coming back to book list or if it's a make controller so now the controller is created i mean handle book delete option is created now things are pretty much simple the first thing i want to do is fetch the selected object selected row so that's what we have to do first so what i'm going to do is we have an object of the table here table view so book selected for deletion equals we have a table view from that get selection model dot get selected item this will return the selected book object so we have book uh, selected for this so if we selected the origin to be deleted it will be selected here selected for deletion then first we have to check whether it is null i mean sometimes if no row is selected then he then then also he can select the delete option by right clicking on the context menu so if selected for deletion is null we have to handle that exception otherwise it is going to make all kinds of problems so fortunately we have an alert maker we just have to give this show error message no book selected then here here also i am going to give a more explanation please select a book for deletion first or just deletion that's enough now l uh, if it is null then we don't have to process anything we just return from the function now let us see whether it is working properly this much part 
so gc root so view books here if i click on here and press delete the exception is not shown if i click here if nothing is selected here nothing is selected delete no book selected please select a book for deletion so that part is very good now let's do the rest of the part so now we have a book selected for deletion now we have to we just don't want to delete it uh, because uh, sometimes the user may select without intention i mean he may unknowingly click the button so we need a confirmation we have to confirm that he surely want to delete the book from the database so for that what we can do is we can give another alert 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 equals new alert we say that we are going to give an alert type of not error we need a confirmation alert instead that alert alert dot set title deleting book then i need one more no uh, not title i need to explain what is the, what is going to do uh, what, what i'm going to do so set con content text are you sure want to delete the book now i am just going to give the book name so it will be much more easier for him to understand so selected for deletion dot get title so i am now getting the book title delete this then i am adding a question mark so uh, we will be asking how you sure want to delete this book so that much is okay now what i am going to do is i need to read the response from the user so for that i am going to give an option it will return an optional uh, i will explain that in a moment so i have a button type optional button type uh, his answer the user's answer equals alert dot show and wait so we just show the alert and wait until he responds and his response will be saved in this button type option so we'll be asking a ok cancel there will be two options ok option and cancel option so if his answer is answer dot get equals answer dot his answer is sorry his answer is button type dot uh, see we have this much button apply cancel close we'll be asking a ok cancel option so if his answer is ok we will do the rest of the processing and do rest of the processing otherwise what we do is We just cancel. I mean, we just show a message that uh, I mean, the book is not deleted. So, what I am going to do is I am going to show another alert using our alert maker. So, alert maker dot show error message. I don't want to show an error message. I don't want, I have to show this show simple alert title deletion cancelled. deletion process cancel so we are not deleting we are just canceling the process now let us check the current part i mean let's check whether this much part is working so i am going to run the program once again then username and password then view books suppose i am going to delete book tree so delete and it is asking for a confirmation are you sure want to delete this book book tree so if i press cancel deletion process cancel and if i press the ok then the if method this part will be called so i have to handle that deletion process now for deleting it i have to delete it from the database the process is very simple every time we are taking it from the database we are not caching anything we are not doing anything else so we can write it in the database handler so if you look at the database handler there is a method set a book table from where we are creating the table so it will be containing id which is the primary key so using the primary key the uh, using the id of the book we can simply delete that so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to write one more method here public um, I need to check this one method get inside so let's get it so public boolean the boolean is used for just whether the uh, testing whether I mean returning whether the deletion was success or not public boolean delete book from delete book just delete book is enough then I am going to pass a book object here so I mean it will be much easier now I have to write the method so for uh, making things simple let me just or I will just um, uh, create a statement here string stmt or delete statement equals now we have to write the SQL command here delete from the table name so the table for book is book delete from book where id is the primary key id equals question mark i am going to use prepared statement since it is much more easier here i use the non prepared statement here for making you people understand things better now we can use prepared statement here i think so i'm going to create a prepared statement prepared statement stmt i made a tutorial series about the database uh, java database handling and in that video series i explained the prepared statement so if you don't know about prepared statement go and watch that video first because it will be much easier for you to understand in that case i have to have a connection object connection dot prepare a statement and I have to give the SQL object there. So the SQL object, I mean SQL, uh, string SQL. So delete statement is the one. Now I want to replace this. I want to replace this question mark with the ID, the actual data. So stmt dot set string, then parameter index. If you set, uh, check the documentation here. The, the first parameter is 1, it is not 0, always remember that, it is 1, not 0. So, I am going to set the first parameter, which is this question mark, to book.getID. So, that's fine. Now, I, it will be throwing some exception, I have to catch them. So, I uh, set on statement with the try catch, start on block with try catch is better. So, that's okay stmt.setString that much part is okay then I have to execute the statement so stmt.execute so now it will be deleting it now I want to return whether it was a success if there was some exception during the execution I mean I can do it like the execute update I think insert update or delete can be done with the execute update so then if you check the return value of this update it is integer value uh, if number of rows deleted so i'm just returning this uh, if return true if it was failure then it will reach this exceptional part then i will return false so that much part is okay actually we have to return the va value that is written by this statement because uh, it will be the number of rows that is manipulated using the query let's just check that so int res equals something then we just put s out to check the value for now so that part is okay we have a delete book method now coming back to the book list controller and we have that object to be deleted so things are pretty much simple now database handler dot get instance dot delete book then here what we have to pass we have to pass the book object which is selected for delish now boolean result the result of book delish if result was true or result is true then what i'm going to do is using alert maker dot symbol alert book deleted then here uh, here again uh, we can give some i mean uh, more elaborate explanation maybe the book name plus something so that will be selected for deletion dot get title 
was deleted successfully. So that's okay. Else, there is an else case because if because of some exception or something, if the book deletion failed, then we have to notify the user about that also. So I'm going to show failed. Could not be deleted. Now let us run the program. Now going to view books. We have five books here. I am going to delete book three. So delete. There is a confirmation message. Are you sure want to delete the book book three? I'm going to press OK. Book three was deleted successfully. See this output one. This output one is coming from this statement. A sort assistant dot out dot and result because we manipulated one row. So we can check with that also. If R E S greater than zero, which means we have manipulated at least one row, which is actually we are doing, or you can give RES equals one, then we return true. Otherwise, there was some problem. I mean, if uh, the result is zero, there is no exception, but the result is zero, then no row is manipulated. So this is much more better than blind, blindly returning the true value. So book three was deleted successfully. Now the problem is, after deleting the book, we are we have in refresh the table. Now, for refreshing the table, we have to make a little bit change in this table view dot get items dot set all. If we do like this, and uh, definitely we have to remove that first from the observable list. So first thing I am going to do is we have a list here that maintains all the books that is in the memory so first we have to delete from there so list dot remove selected for deletion so we have to remove the book uh, from the list first but even though it is an observable list if we remove that from the list it will not be deleted from the table view the problem is with this statement table view dot get items don't set all instead what we have to do is we just have to change this to say table view dot set items so we are actually setting that observable list as directed data field to this table view so that if we remove something from the table from this list it will be removed from the table view also let's see it's in action so i'm going to uh, authenticate then view books i have three books and i am going to remove this test book so if i press on this delete okay okay then it is gone so that's it guys that's how you remove a book from the database as always thank you for watching this video in the next video coming tutorials i mean in the upcoming videos i will do more in this library software to make it much more better so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos